Paso mother and father are grieving the death of their son. He died in a fiery crash this weekend, and police officials say three teens were inside of a stolen car. The 14-year-old boy and a 13-year-old girl managed to get out alive, and police say they ran away. ABC 7's Rosemary Montanez joins us live from where the rollover happened to pick up the story from here. Rosemary. Oh, Stephanie, Eric, this is a scene of that deadly crash that happened Saturday night. I want you to focus your attention right across the street where that car came to a screeching halt. You can still see there's shattered glass on the ground as well as bird marks that remain from that car that was engulfed in flames. The parents of that 17 year old say his name was Saul Castro. They are devastated that he died. Now, police say the 14 year old driver was driving that vehicle that had been reported stolen a few days ago. The crash happened Saturday night around 1040. Police say the teen driver was speeding on the westbound when he lost control of that car. It hit a boulder, causing it to roll over and finally hit a light pole. But when police arrived, the only thing they found on in fire was the body of Saul Castro, who was inside. Officials see the driver and the 13 year old girl managed to escape and ran away. Saul's mother says she still believes her son is coming home despite the news of his death. But we don't know if it is him. They have to do a DNA test and all of that because 80% of his body was burned. I don't think it is him. I don't believe it's him. And you can see both of those parents visibly shocked at what has happened. They told me they were not prepared to cover any of his funeral expenses. If you would like to donate to help them cover for those costs, you can click on this story on our website, kbi.com. And coming up on ABC 7 at 6, we'll tell you more about who Saul was and the story of him, what his parents uh, said to him before he died that night. I'm reporting live in East El Paso, Rosemary Montañez, ABC 7. Absolutely tragic. Thank you, Rosemary.